It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. What? I wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. Professor, I hope this letter finds you well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. You see, the London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. This may be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from ten years in the future. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. For now, I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. I look forward to seeing you again. Your student, Luke Triton. Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. From my future self? But how is that even possible? I don't know, but it does raise the question, if this letter is indeed authentic, how did it get here? Um, by time-travelling postman? Just joking, of course. But seriously, I think this mystery might be the strangest we've ever encountered. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Your constancy can be quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. Uh, well, thank you, I think. But back to the letter. How do we know it's real? Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence is connected to the terrible events of last week. It all started about a week ago. Using a six-dimension alpha distributor, I was able to guide a concentrated stream of Hamanir particles through a temporal vortex, more commonly known as a wormhole. This stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal point. Armed with this information, the next step was to artificially distort the flow of time, generate what? a massive magnetic field via a solar coil. Once the magnetic field is firmly established, one has the ability to quite literally punch holes or hive gaps into the very fabric of space-time. After this crucial step, it's simply a matter of constructing an energy. Quite the uh, spread we have here, Inspector. Though, it does make me wonder what we did to deserve invitations to such a feast. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. It's only natural I'd be invited to an important event such as this. Ah, uh, I suppose that's possible. Possible, you say? Um, uh, probable. Highly probable, sir. Simply dreadful, Bill. Uh, do get this over with quickly so we can leave. Oh, yes, dear. I have to say, I feel a bit out of place here, Professor. That's quite understandable, Luke. 
I'm sure most people would feel the same way in the presence of the Prime Minister. Hey, look! I think I see Inspector Chelmy over there. Hmm. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you think that someone has really built a working time machine? I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true, can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Well, I think it's really exciting. Though you don't sound entirely convinced, Professor. Anything's possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit... off. Why do you say that? Ah, oh, of course. That must be your famous intuition talking, eh? That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. That god? What about him? He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Ooh, so we have an intruder in our midst. I guess it's back to the drawing board. This one's as good as solved. Phew! That's a relief. Gentlemen, thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I'm pleased to share the fruits of my labor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. But first, I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Please, join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. Is this thing real? What do you mean? I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, 
but for the entire human race. Since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for! Please take it away, Dr. Stangan! I have just one more request before we start. I'd very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? I assure you, there's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety. Please, feel free to return to your seat, Prime Minister. Wait! Uh, what I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Bill, have you lost your mind? Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. You have my thanks. And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. Mr. Hawks. Would you mind just stepping inside? Very wrong. Uh? Oh, where is he? Someone find Bill! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm and refrain from panicking! This is chaos! The Prime Minister and Dr. Stangle have vanished! Uh, my word. So, you think that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter? Wait! Maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too! I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Yes, I read about it in the paper. 
some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea! the clue in the letter, the Professor and I set off. What awaited us was one of the biggest mysteries we'd ever encountered. Somehow, a single letter had made its way back through time. And the sender, strange as it sounds, was me. The future me, that is. Little did we know that this letter would draw us into the strangest of situations.